In this video, we are comparing the Nike Next Percent number two against the Nike Alphafly number two. to our Nike Alphafly 2 mini series. Now this is a four part series that we're doing. Hopefully you've seen the other parts. Um, and in this part, I wanted to just quickly, actually it's only gonna be a short video, look at the differences between the Next Percent 2 and the Alphafly 2. Uh, the other videos we've got on the Alphafly 2 are first impressions after a 10 mile goal pace run. It was actually 12 miles, but uh, 10 miles of that was a goal. Uh, we've also done a uh, convert uh, com a versus video uh, v1 v2. We've got this one versus uh, next percent. And we're summing it up at the end. Uh, I'm going to give you my sort of I don't know final analysis if the Alpha Fly is worth the money. And then we're going to be doing that at the end um, of the series of this mini series. So right, let's dive in with the um, Alpha Fly two against the next percent two. Okay, so the Alpha Fly, uh, in terms of uh, stats and features, right, let's do that before we come on to the other bits. Uh, we've got a new Atom Knit 2, we've got a Zoomex uh, foam, uh, probably maxed out at about 40 mils, there's no official numbers on it, 8 mil drop. Uh, we've got two AirPods at the front, we've got a reworked outsole to improve uh, stability, but also um, durability, which is good news. Uh, we've got a reworked heel section, which is adding a little bit more comfortable. They've smoothed out the arch in the shoe. Uh, which is good news uh, for anybody who was sensitive to that in the other. Fits true to size. Uh, this is UK 9.5. It's 200, I think it was 275 quid. Uh, bought it out of my own money. And that's probably about it in terms of stats and features on this. Obviously, it's got full, both of these have got full length carbon plates, okay? Right, and then we've got the next percent too. So we've got a uh, full length Zoom X, um, slightly lower stack than the Alpha Fly, uh, eight mil drop, mesh upper, full length carbon plate, decent bit of rubber on the forefoot to really help that strike as you're meant to be gunning it along there. We've got a little bit of rubber um, placed at the back over the exposed. Zoom X fits true to size. Uh, this shoe is about 180 pounds on some websites at the moment. Now we're gonna weigh them because I think that was the important thing. Um, just a bit of a heads up, I can tell you the next percent two is lighter. 213 grams versus 247 grams. Um, it was always gonna be lighter because this shoe is really designed for out and out speed. Okay, so if you're like an everyday runner and you're looking for a carbon plated racing shoe and you're on the Nike website and you're thinking, what shoe do I buy? Um, I would steer you, if you're doing a marathon, I would steer you towards the Alpha Fly. I think it's just uh, an unbelievable shoe over the marathon distance. If you're looking at half marathon and under, I would say the next percent two is where to go. This is the quickest shoe I own. Uh, if I'm doing a fast 10K, fast 5K, fast half marathon, I'm going here. Uh, I put out a 42 minute 10K in these uh, while marathon training recently, and it was effortless. This thing is fast, but I wouldn't wear it over the marathon distance. I'm far too unstable as a runner. I don't have a good enough foot strike, consistent foot strike and consistent form over the marathon distance to warrant wearing these shoes. I'm just simply not quick enough. Where with the Alpha Fly over the marathon distance, it just holds my speed for longer, and believe it or not, in, in a sort of more stable way. So yeah, if you're looking at the two, um, it depends what you want them for. Um, in terms of versatility, you'll probably get more out of the Alpha Fly because you can 100% use this for uh, half marathons and training and, and all that sort of stuff if you want to spend £275 on it. So yeah, I, I mean, I don't know whether that's helped or not, but I just wanted to make the video um, just to give you a bit of a heads up because maybe you, you know, you're looking for a, a super shoe and you don't know which direction to go. I think the important thing is here is these both are incredible shoes. This is the best marathon shoe for me. This is the best half marathon shoe and below for me. Um, they both uh, have got a you know, place in my rotation. I think this is probably my f 
fourth version of this shoe, third version of this shoe, and I've had, this is the fourth version of this shoe that I've got. Um, so I'm a massive, massive fan of both of these, but they both do, you know, very different things for me. Uh, apart from that half marathon, which is, you, you know, you could cross over. Um, so if I'll tell you what, a good example. So if I was just running a easy uh, half marathon, now if I was looking for about 150, I'd probably go Alpha Fly um, out of these two. Uh, but if I was looking for under 150, I'd 100% go for the next percent too so i hope that helps um, if you're making the decision about pulling the trigger on one of these